Hi there. In this session, we'll study about how we can interface a buzzer with Arduino. A buzzer is a very small electronic component which works on piezo effect. So it generates some audio because it vibrates at some particular frequencies whenever a supply is given to it. It looks as small as like this but comes in a variety of different sizes. It can be a PCB mounting one uh, like the one you see in this uh, diagram as well as it can come with two wires. Uh, those two wires are nothing but plus and minus supply wires and all we have to do is give it some voltage between 3 to 30 volts and the buzzer can generate some sound. Whenever you are interfacing this buzzer with Arduino microcontroller board then you don't need any kind of switching circuit for it. You can directly connect the buzzer with the input output pin of Arduino. So what you have to do is you have to connect this positive terminal with the Arduino pin and the negative pin can directly go to ground. You can either make the buzzer go simply on and off or you can give it some particular frequency so that it generates some particular tones. In Arduino, you can also generate the tones using the built-in tone library. So let's see how and uh, how we can use this buzzer in our project. So let's begin. As said, the buzzer can come in a variety of sizes as well as shapes. So you can see this one here looks like a PCB mounting buzzer. And this one here comes in a package which has got two screw holes and two wires. The two wires are usually red and black wire which can be connected directly to the Arduino's pin and ground. While writing down program for this kind of buzzer, all you need to do is simply make that particular pin of Arduino high or low. By simply making it high and low, the buzzer will either turn on and turn off, thereby generating some sound. Now if you do some experiment with this high and low, if you do some experiment with the turn on time or keeping the on time something, off time something or making it switch at a very faster rate, you can generate several tones. Arduino provides us with a tone library as well, which generates a square wave of a specified frequency on any pin of Arduino. The duty cycle means the on time and off time ratio is 50%. Means whatever signal we generate using the tone library, the on and on period on and off periods are always same. The tone library has a very simple syntax where you just have to call tone, then mention the pin on which you want to generate the tone, and then mention the frequency which you want to generate. Due to some technical reasons, a sound or a signal less than 31 Hertz is not possible to be generated on Arduino. In the same function tone, you can also optionally provide the duration in milliseconds for which you want the tone to be generated. If you don't specify any tone in duration, then the tone will be generated onto that pin or the frequency will be generated onto that pin infinitely, unless you give a call to a function called no tone. Whenever you are using this tone library, the PWM operation is disturbed with pin number 3 and 11. So if you are using pin number 3 and 11 for tone generation, then there will be some problem with the PWM output. That's one thing you have to keep into mind. So let's see how we can write down a program for this tone library. <laughs> 